Hello, I'm Allison Tolman, and I recently posted on my YouTube channel a conversation that I had with artist Sarah Breyer at her studio in Kyoto, Japan. Unfortunately, there was a technical glitch on my end, but Sarah Breyer's comments come through loud and clear, so I hope you'll watch that. We also decided to show some of the images that we were talking about in the conversation, and that's what this artist showcase is all about. We're looking first at Taki, which is an aqua tint. This dates from 2002, and I loved the idea of the just the sheer power that you could hear in the water as it courses down. Sarah Breyer was born in Rochester, New York in 1957 and made her way to Kyoto in the late 1970s. She majored in studio fine arts from Connecticut College and was interested to go to Japan to study printmaking. As you'll see in this next image, in addition to making prints, she also would do watercolors and quite often would set up her easel on the banks of the Kamo River in Kyoto. In this summer night Kyoto, we could already see Sarah's interest in luminosity, just how the light is reflected off the water and the glow of the streetlights. Nature has also been a predominant theme in her work. And this paper piece, Moon Trance, is based on a Korean painting from the 19th century. In the original painting, a flock of swallows passes by, but in Sarah's version, the cats are locked in a battle of wills, and it looks like each cat has decided that it is the victor. This piece is unusual for Sarah because it's a lithograph made on Mexican handmade paper. Over time, Sarah became quite interested in making her own paper, and in fact, just a few years ago, was awarded the pre prestigious Commissioner's Award by the government of Japan. The cultural agency decided that this foreigner merited the prestigious Chousho Kyokan, and we're very, very happy that she got this award. We're going to be looking at a few more paper pieces, and again, you'll see the effect of light in each one. Oceanic from last year has a beautiful suffused glow of the moonlight falling on water. And the next one, Splash, is a monumental poured paperwork. And in poured paperwork, you have liquid washi, which is poured onto dampened washi. And as it dries and sets, a design is produced. Splash measures seven feet by 2.8 feet. Next comes Cheetah, and this is an original paperwork based on Sarah's trip to Namibia and South Africa just earlier this year. She said that it was amazing to be up close to animals, so close that you could feel their souls through their eyes. Finally, let's take a look at her most recently completed edition, Midnight Moon. And Midnight Moon has phosphorescent pigments worked in, embedded, I should say, in with the layers of paper. So when it is charged, and one can do this easily with a UV flashlight, a soft glow will emanate. Sarah is truly a talented artist, and I've been so fortunate to work with her for all these years and for many years to come. We hope you enjoy these images, and if you have any questions, we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.